October 20th, 20 days in on the 31 days of Halloween masks. Tonight's episode is brought to you by absolutely nobody. So, if you were uh, tuned into yesterday's video, I was talking about Rob and Kathy Tharp and uh, their retirement from painting masks. And uh, those of you that don't know, they were longtime painters at Don Post Studios. 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, up till a couple months ago, they were still doing it um, privately after Don, Don Post shut down years ago. You could still get amazing quality Don Post paint ups from the masters from Don Post, Rob and Kathy Tharp. However, they would be even better <laughs> than the factory paint jobs because you know you're doing hundreds of masks in a line you're kind of going quickly you're kind of going you know it's a production line you're going a little faster than normal than if you're going to sit there and paint one thing so when you'd have rob and kathy paint one mask for you it really came out came out amazing and uh you know years ago certain blanks would become available through certain channels and you would get not youtube channels through mask channels and uh, all of a sudden a you know Karloff Frankenstein blank would be available or a Wolfman B blank would be available and uh, I started putting two and two together like you know what someday Rob and Kathy are gonna retire and you're not gonna be able to get this anymore so I kind of I kind of went crazy and got a nice group I said I want to get the Frankensteins I'm gonna keep forever of course my vintage pieces are everything to me but I wanted like museum quality heads and hands that uh, I would just keep in this collection for a long time never get rid of them and uh, I wanted them in different colors different styles and uh, and I'm gonna show them to you tonight I've got four different Frankenstein monsters with hands that I'm going to show you that Rob and Kathy Tharp painted for me years ago. And then some custom crazy Wolfmans, all right? Some were so crazy they drove people insane out there when I had them made. So, <laughs> um, we're going to dedicate this to Rob and Kathy. They're, uh, they're definitely friends of mine and I uh, can't believe... Uh, there's no more paint ups by them. So uh, hopefully one day they'll come out of retirement and paint up some more masks. Uh, but you never know. They're, they're definitely saying they're done. So I'm gonna show you some of the amazing things they made for me. And uh, I kept telling people like, you can get this right now. You can go get these amazing things and have them do them for you. Someday they won't do it anymore. So uh, you snooze, you lose, sucker. All right, here we go. Let's check out these amazing Karloffs, number one. And uh, technically I'll probably have to show you a vintage mask in the end because I keep saying this is 31 days of vintage Halloween masks. Technically we're still on the vintage thing. All right, just, just don't worry about it. All right, here we go. Three of my favorite things in this room, these amazing Karloffs done by Rob and Kathy Tharp. Look at that. So basically it's the same casting. This nice long neck, Karloff became available through somebody out there in mask in mask land and uh, I wanted a flesh color version I wanted a green flesh version and I wanted a gray version different style of paint ups too by the way Rob and Kathy would paint them back at Don Post Studios and I had them also do three sets of hands so these are these are matching sets of heads with their hands and <clears throat> here you've got the 60s style Frankenstein hands done out done with that flesh colored rub out style Kathy was uh, 
amazing at that by the way that was that was one thing she really was great at was that that rub out technique um the green frankenstein monster also has the 60s style hands and then on the end this gray dude has the smaller 70s style frankenstein hands as you can see there you're probably familiar with these by now on the channel i keep showing you other similar um hands like that with vintage sets i've got a mold came up where they were available so i jumped on it i said i gotta have people were looking at me like i was crazy like why are you doing so many frankensteins why are you asking that question why wouldn't you do a bunch of frankensteins to me this is the greatest monster of all time so i had to go and get as many as i could afford at the time kathy did the custom eyeballs in all of these dudes that that dead eyeball look that the Karloffs have, which is awesome. So I first took the latex castings, sent them to a good friend of mine who foam filled all of them before any of the work was done. Then they went to the Tharps, and got all these beautiful paint jobs done on them. Then I sent them to my friend Maskahuna, who does hands down the greatest Frankenstein hair in the hobby. And he laid it all out beautifully on these copies for me. And uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't be any happier. So these were basically gifts to myself back then. Three versions of my favorite monster. Karloff, I mean, I couldn't tell you who I like more. Glenn Strange or Karloff are, you know, I love them both equally as Frankensteins. <clears throat> And especially masks. I think all of you will agree. These are pretty damn awesome. And I've said it before. Just having a life-size Frankenstein in your hands. A, the head of Frankenstein in your hands. Is just so awesome to have something like that. Having little toys over the years are one thing. But when you can have his freaking life-size head in your hand. it's It's so badass. I mean, look at that all foam filled nicely this is these are going to be around for a long long time so those are quite special to me i'm going to go on to another frankenstein now that kathy tharp painted up for me and it's going to be the 70s smooth frankenstein i'm going to dig him out now here's that smooth frankenstein set done by kathy i acquired blanks <clears throat> Kathy did the flesh rub out on the head and the hands, and it came out really awesome. And remember, the Smooth is a smaller mask to begin with. Later castings of it are even smaller than the production mask, but uh, what an amazing set to have. You'll remember from the videos the other night, I have the original 1974 set with hands. I just wanted a brand new set done by kathy uh rob did all the hair work on this one rob tharp laid the hair on this frankenstein monster and it looks killer nice flat top head on this one but again so cool to have a brand spanking new smooth frankenstein set in the collection the vintage ones are everything to me but this is still quite awesome just to have a brand new one now check this out. These are some crazy wolf men I wanted Rob and Kathy to make for me. Um, some wolf man castings were available. The old 70s wolf man B head and the hands. Beautiful castings. So once again, I acquired the castings, had them foam filled, sent to Rob and Kathy. And I wanted, <laughs> this is where some guys were like, what is he doing? You know, some of the, some of the older guys in the hobby were like uh, horrified by some of my color choices here. But there actually was an Orange Wolfman by Don Post Studios. <sighs> I would say they were a pretty limited run in the 70s. Probably weren't this orange, but look at this crazy thing. He is uh, 
they look like <laughs> they look like the colors of the wrapped up Halloween candy that everyone doesn't like to eat, but I like it. So Kathy did most of the paint work, I believe, on these two. Rob laid out. He is one thing Rob was amazing at doing, still is amazing at doing, is Wolfman hair. I mean, look how perfect he lays the hair on these things. And uh this crazy uh orange wolf man sparked other people out there to order the same thing. I've seen a few more pop up in time where they made a few more wolfman heads like this in orange and with the hands. So there's probably a few of these out there by Rob and Kathy. But look at the look at the exquisite hair work by Rob Tharp. Just awesome. Like, why wouldn't you order that and have these things made back then if they were available? <clears throat> Look at this guy. This one, his his hair got a little smashed in during shipping, and I was horrified. Um, I tried to pull it up more uh, higher in time, but he looks pretty good now. You know, he's, he's he looks pretty pretty slick for my black-haired wolfman and i wanted a wolfman that you never saw of course there's a there's a bunch of brown wolfmen out there right because he was brown duh but i'm like i want some different stuff man i want some wild looking alternate wolfmen which brings me to the last and final piece i'm going to show you tonight hey the last and final piece i'm going to show you tonight is a wolfman that really had eyebrows raising like, what the heck is he doing now? Despite the final piece I'm gonna show you freaking out many people when I made it, a lot of people love it. And when people see it in the collection, they always point to it and go, what is that? So check this out. That, my friends, is a albino wolfman. <laughs> this was my idea 100%. Um, I told Kathy, I said, God, this may sound crazy, but I want to build a albino wolf man with hands set and what I did I started studying photos of albino apes and gorillas out there real life you know life ones and uh, I said I just gotta have this crazy albino wolf man and uh, certain collectors out there were looking at me like I was out of my mind I'll tell you what though this albino wolf man is one of my favorite things in this whole room and the more people saw it, the more it started growing on people. Some guys out there still hate it to this day. <laughs> like, they look at me like I'm insane, but I think it's the coolest thing ever. And uh, to my knowledge, this is the only one. I don't think she made any other albino wolfman for anybody. And uh, of course, Rob laid on that amazing wolfman hair. And just, just look at this. I couldn't do that if I tried. I mean, he's got this, and it's so, it's like hairsprayed, so it's got this like little hard shell over it. L look at that, how beautiful Rob laid that hair. <sighs> it makes me wish I ordered, you know, five more different Wolfman sets right now, knowing that you can't get them anymore. Just look at that. Rob killed it, Kathy killed it with that, that look. And, uh, I mean, look at the eyes, Kathy did those piercing eyes. Totally looks like the, the wolf man's crazy stare. But if he was born an albino, <laughs> I want to know what you guys think in the comments of this piece, because it's absolutely something you'll probably never see anywhere else. You're not going to see albino wolf men toys, lunch boxes, posters. You're not going to see an albino wolf man anywhere out there. I highly doubt it. And uh, I don't care what anybody says, I am proud of my albino wolfman. So it was a good long run with the Tharps. They've made a lot of other pieces for me, but uh, Rob and Kathy, you guys are the best. You made so many great pieces for me and all my friends. And uh, if I see stuff out there popping up on eBay, I may try to grab some more of it because I think they're gonna be highly collectible in the future.
and I would try to start getting them because uh, you're not going to be able to order these anymore, especially the albino wolf man. <laughs> so that was episode 20, and uh, we're getting closer to Halloween. Luckily, there's still some time left in this month, and I can enjoy a little bit of it, but uh, this has been a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.